Hey everybody, this is video 3 for the Body of Christ 2018. My name is Kaneki, I'm coming the name of the Lord. Alright, so right now we're going to go, uh, we're still going to be building up in the mindset to be in the mystery of how it all turns out. Yeah? So right now we are going on uh, Matthew 21:42. That the stone the builders rejected has become the capstone. The Lord has done this and it is marvelous in our eyes. And that means that there was a reason that this was here. And that was in direct correlation to the new restructuring of the body. So this is going to be video number three. And what we're working on is copacetic divisions within the body of Christ. So this right here is going to be John 17, 13 through 19 Jesus Christ prays sanctification of his disciples so verse 13 I am coming to you now but I say these things while I am still in the world so that they may have the full measure of my joy within them I have given them your word and the world has hated them for they are not of the world any more than I am of the world my prayer is not that you take them out of the world, but that you protect them from the evil one. They are not of the world, even as I am not of it. Sanctify them by the truth. Your word is truth. As you sent me into the world, I have sent them into the world. For them I sanctify myself, that they too may be truly sanctified. So this right here, he's talking about his disciples, and he's talking to his father, the true God. And that they be granted the full measure of joy. That they be granted to not have attachments to the world because they're not of the world anymore. They have already been protected with the seal. And that's going to be the seal of God and the seal of the Lamb. So this right here is going to concede to the elect. And the 144,000 as well. Um, this is going to be... And they're sanctified by the word of God and sanctified by Jesus Christ and this is what you call true sanctification which is called the anointing so this is going to be the anointing with the seal and the spirit in the heart that is already anchored within their next reincarnation so this is going to be within the head of Christ yeah with the next um, verses, Jesus prays for all believers, and this is going to be verses 20 through 24, and it says, May My prayer is not for them alone. I pray also for those who will believe in me through their message, so those who have justified Jesus Christ in the heart, that all of them may be one. And when he says all of them, he means everyone who's going to be in the body. Yeah? Father, just as you are in me and I am in you so that that's how what it means is we will be able to communicate like how they communicated with each other yeah just like how I said with the um, the Holy Spirit once we get in accordance it's gonna be like a spiritual walkie-talkie for those who have been justified correctly so just as you are in me and I am in you May they also be in us, so that the world may believe that you have sent me. I have given them the glory that you gave me, that they may be one as we are one. So the glory that God gave to his son, the father gave to the son, they also have that. So the body can go into the head, but they won't have the true sanctification. They won't have the anointing, okay? That only goes to the disciples, the chosen, and the elect, yeah? I have given them the glory that you have given me, that they may be one as we are one. I in them and you in me. So you have Jesus in your heart and Jesus has God in his heart. So you are holding God inside of you with Jesus as the tent, as in my other videos I have said. Yeah. May they be brought to complete unity to let the world know that you sent me and have loved them even as you have loved them. Them and them is going to be talking about Christ people and 
the people that are justified through the correct justification with Jesus Christ in her heart. And this includes God's people if they choose to do that. If not, anybody else that doesn't have any type of justification into the correct way, they will be cut off and they're going to be at the feet, yeah? And so that's going to be the Yahshua people and whatnot. But they're going to be separated from the glory of God, but they're going to still be righteous. This is all righteousness up here. And so that concludes the parts of the basic body structure. At the head, we have the Christ's disciples, his chosen people that God gave him out of the world. And with these people, they're going to be the first because they were the last during this time. They were of the second uh, testament, yeah? So they became now the first testament of the new body. And with this being said, these people are going to be the elect. They're going to be anointed already. They're going to have the um, impudence of righteousness. And they're going to um, be accorded as leadership roles, as the head in Christ, but still in righteousness. With the body, these are going to be everyone else in the world who will be um, coming through with the justification of the New Testament with Jesus Christ in heart, whether it be from the uh, God's people, God's chosen people, the Israelites and the Hebrews and whatnot, or just people from the world. And within this entire structuring, they're going to be I in you and you in me, right? And then it's going to be you are have Jesus Christ in your heart and Jesus Christ has his father. So you have God inside of you in a sub subconscious. And with that being said, you'll be able to then once you are realized, and that means matured in your walk and your Holy Spirit, be able to work as one group, like how he said, and be able to communicate pretty much like Bluetooth without the technology because um, that it was always supposed to be. Everything that you see outside of in the technological sense that you think is impossible for man to accord to, that is all mimicry because we are supposed to accord to that. But that right there is the imitator creating before the real creator is getting there. Yeah, It's a cat and mouse type of chase until the creator catches up with the imitator and that's when you get the alpha and the omega. Okay? So to end this um, John 17, it says, Righteous Father, though the world does not know you, I know you and they know you have sent me. Sent me. I have made you known to them and will continue to make you known in order that the love you have for me may be in them and that I myself may be in them. Love justified through Christ. And so the love um, you have for me, so the, the, the love the Father has for the Son is also the love He has for you because whoever loves the Son loves the Father and whoever loves the Father will love the Son. You can't love one or the other, yeah? Because they're both one and the same. And so that right there concludes the basic development of the entirety of the structuring of the body of Christ. Um, and I will next video reveal what the body of Christ um, looks like right now.